In this video, I'm going to show you an overview of the front-end editor that comes with Total. So in WordPress, when I'm editing my page, I have an option to use the front-end editor instead of editing it in the back-end here. So I'm going to go ahead and click front-end editor. This is going to open up the front end of my web page with the editor enabled. You can see up here is the toolbar for the editor and here in the center is a blank page with some actions to get started. So the first thing I want to do is add an element. And this is going to be a row element because almost certainly you're going to want to start with a row when you're building your layout. Rows allow you to choose or, or set the width um, and the number of columns that are displayed inside of it. So for this first row, I'm going to go ahead and edit the settings by expanding this and clicking the pencil. And I'm going to do a couple things. First, I want to add or I want to set the row to be stretched so it's the full width of the screen. And you'll notice. Um, each of these settings windows has different tabs so that you can adjust certain settings. So here under design options, I'm going to add a background image and I'm going to choose from an image I've already uploaded to WordPress. And I'm going to set that background image to cover so it fills the full height and width. And I'm going to give it some padding on the inside so that it is spacious enough for my text. And when I click Save, I'll automatically see the changes applied to my page. Now inside this I have a gray plus icon which is inside of the column. So this row, these blue icon settings, and the column is the, are the yellow icon settings. This row currently only has one column and that's good enough for me right now. So I'm just going to go and add a heading module. So when I add a new module, I've got all of these to choose from, but they're organized by different categories, and Total has its own set of unique modules. And these are pretty awesome, so I'm going to use these for the most part. And I'm going to go ahead and select Heading, and that's going to pop in some dummy text here, but we obviously need to adjust it. And again, I have a different set of options for this module and I can change that here. Let's see. My awesome page. That's the text for my heading. I want to change the typography a bit. I'm going to make it an H1. The color is going to be white and I want the font size to be 42 pixels so it's nice and big. You'll notice here that you have options to change the font size uh, responsively for different devices. This is a landscape tablet, portrait tablet, landscape phone, and portrait phone. And then you can set the auto responsive font size. I'm going to align it to the center and I think that'll be good enough. So I'll close this. There's my title. Uh, and I want to put a subtitle here, a subheading, but instead of clicking here to add a new module, I'm just going to clone this one. That'll put it right below it, and then I can edit this so that it looks the way I want it to look. So I'm going to change the typography. Instead of it being a heading tag, I actually just want it to be basic text. So I'm going to turn it into a span tag and make this font size whatever the default font is for the theme by just removing that completely and changing the font weight to something much lighter. All right, but let's make this say something else. All right. And finally, I want to put a button under here, some sort of action. So let's go to total. And I want to find the button, but I need to search for it. So there we go. The search is very convenient. It's hard enough for me to locate all these different modules, so the search really helps. So here's my button, pops it over there. Let's do some quick adjustments on this button text. Let's say view pricing. 
and I want the link we'll leave alone for right now. Design, I'm going to leave it on the default style, but I have several different visual styles to choose from. I want it to be center aligned. I want the size to be medium. And let's set the background color on hover can be maybe a dark blue and the color on hover can be white as well. All right, and now I'm going to go to typography and quickly adjust a few things here. I want the text transform to be uppercase. So let's see what that looks like. That's pretty good. Uh, I want to quickly add some margin on the top of it because I want some more spacing. There. All right, cool. So I've got my main row here and below this, I'm going to quickly add some other elements. I might want to put in um, a portfolio. So let's see, I'm going to go to total, search for my portfolio. And this is going to automatically um, apply my portfolio posts that I've already added to WordPress in the portfolio post type. So I can do some quick adjustments here. We've got options for the grid style columns I'm gonna say two gap responsive and then responsive settings for the number of columns based on the device size so tablet landscape portrait phone landscape and portrait and let's see right now it's outputting all of my portfolio items so under query I'm gonna change this to two because I only want two of them or maybe I want four of them let's just do four update this and now I've got four of my portfolio items. I need to jump over here so I can get some extra options. And I'm gonna do entry CSS, give this some top margin, and go ahead and close it. So now I've got two rows with different modules in it. Let's put a heading in here and call this pricing and I want to let's see here I want to make this centered similar to what we did above but I want to change the color to blue there we go close that and now I want to add in my pricing table so I'm going to add a new row. I'm going to click this, put in a total pricing table again. So thankful that there is a search here. This is going to pop in a dummy pricing table with, with some dummy content and it's going to be full width so let's change this by editing the, the uh, row layout to three columns and that automatically applies it so we can close this and then I'm just going to clone this item or this module rather go ahead and clone that and drag it over to here then I'm going to clone this one and drag that over and then I can edit each one individually however I like to make them unique so here in the, the pricing uh, module I've got a few things going to make this plan a little bit different and the cost, uh, update that. Awesome. Oh, I've got to change my plan color to white. Perfect. And then I can just adjust this one a little bit. There we go. Now I think I'm going to add a couple testimonials by adding a row. I'm going to drag this above my pricing actually and I'm going to add a total module for testimonials grid 
this is going to automatically populate it with the testimonials I've added to my testimonials post type in total. So I'm going to do a couple things. I only want it to show two of them, and I only want the grid columns to be two. Let's update that. Perfect. And let's clone this row because I want to give my testimonials a heading just as, as the pricing does. And let's say Save that. All right, this is looking pretty good. The last thing I might want to do is add a button down here. So let's quickly add a total button. Same as we did above. And few settings here make this one large um, I can do hover animation which is pretty cool I'm gonna do a float shadow and typography I want my text uppercase so that's about it I hope this gave you a good overview of what the total front end editor is capable of and that you can take this and create your own amazing pages. Have fun.